talk about kids. Um, we talked about um, your sons and um, the step by step. Yeah, yeah. Um, staying, definitely staying connected to what makes you happy, right? Yes. So, uh, another point in your book that I thought was really important is that you talk about giving yourself grace. You're not going to have it all figured out. Right. Uh, you're not going to have it perfected. But just take the time to kind of go back, reassess, and do that thing. Um, yes. What do you what do you think stops people from taking those simple steps? Because it seemed like a simple thing. Yeah. Right. I tried something. It didn't work. Right. Forgive myself. Right. Move on. <laughs> but we we beat ourselves up. Yeah. Right? Like yeah, so we are failures. We, we shouldn't try it anymore. Be nice. like, what do you think stops people from your experience and also you know kind of related back to what you talked about in the book? What stops people from taking that that time to just breathe, mm. be better, to recenter themselves, get reconnected with family? What do you mm. think stops people from doing that? Mm. Um, one one thing is external validation. You know that external validation that you need to be validated from some external party or source or group. That that, that validation seeking stops people in their tracks and they don't get it or they you know they don't get it after after their first try. So external validation is one. Fear is another thing that stops people right in their tracks. Um, cloud, the clouding of the mind, meaning you don't know what thoughts are yours, you don't know what voice is yours, you're hearing this voice in your head, don't you that you're never gonna be successful. Why are you trying to do that? You're gonna lose, you're gonna lose money. Whose voice is that? So I always right. pose the questions, who's talking to you? Whose voice are you looking at? You know, you, they call it the imposter syndrome and other got other catchphrases. So, you know, these these false personalities, these false voices, the external validation, the fear, these are the things that are stopping people from their greatness, from, from discovering the core of themselves, because you have to go through challenges. You have, like, like they say, you don't know what type of soldier or warrior you are until you have an enemy or until you have a foe. So that's what challenges do. Challenges are to sharpen you. Challenges are to show, are to show you what you're made of and to show you, you know, your gifts and how you, how you stand out and how you react to things. So that's what I, I start to notice the most. So I, there's a phrase, and I always butcher it, but the phrase that I heard says, you are not going to be great, mm -hmm. you are great, mm -hmm. you just haven't allowed yourself to believe in you. That's, that's Box. not what you talk Box. about here. You're like, get, get yourself in tune with those you layers are. off. Yeah, I look at it as layers. I look at it as, imagine it's 90 degrees outside and you got on a trench coat, a sweater, a hat, a scarf, boots, uh, three pair of pants. So all these layers of clothes are your false who you were told you should be, or who you think you should be, or who society thinks you should be. You have to take these layers off one by one, one by one, one by one, to get to that core of who you who you truly are. And that's what you were just talking about. So yeah, I agree. Yeah. Uh, and we're gonna get to some questions here in a second. Yes, yes. Um, give us, give them a little tease. Yeah. Right? So let's let's assume. <laughs> That the folks haven't read the book, they yes. need to get their copy of Forward, Onward, Upward, Science yes. of Perseverance and Evolution by the Robert S. Faith. Uh, but give them, give them some. What, yes. What's one thing that you would like to share with them about what's in this book? Mm -hmm. Why it can be powerful for them uh, as a reader and that they will take away by buying this book? Absolutely. Um, forward, Onward, Upward, it's a mantra. It's a mantra to remind you who you could be and who you already are, you know. Um, one of, the, one of my favorite quotes in the book is, we suffer more in imagination than we do in reality by Seneca. And I have a lot of quotes in the book just to kind of make it stick in your mind. Um, this is to help people navigate on their path. And it's a, it's, this is part two to a series. My first book, Your Gift, Your Passion, Your Purpose, was based on finding your purpose, realizing, realizing your purpose is a journey. It's not just one thing you're gonna do, it's the actual entire journey. The journey is just as important as the destination. And once you get a grasp on your purpose and you know what that purpose path is about, the next thing becomes about navigation, making sure you're walking your purpose path, making sure you have guidance, making sure you know where you're going, what you're doing, why you're doing it. That way when times get hard, times get challenging, because they are, they are. One thing about it, life does not get easier at all. 
you get more refined, you get more efficient, you become more effective. And because of that, it seems easier, but it hasn't gotten more easier. You just become more effective. So that's what this is about. When things get tough, become challenging, this is your anchor to center you back to your why, where you're going, why you're doing what you're doing. And there are a lot of prompts, there's a lot of exercises, stories, quotes, and just straight conversation of different pathways that you can utilize within your mind, within your consciousness, um, you know, to maximize your potential and actualize your goals in real time. I, I, I forgot to mention that. You actually, I don't like writing a book. <laughs> but this is a book that you should actually take the time yes. after each chapter and, and write in a book. So yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I did want to flip it to some other, anybody having questions, thoughts, concerns they wanted to bring up for our Any audience. Questions from the audience? Any questions from the audience? I got a question. Yes, sir. Mike Merkin? Yep. We can hear you. Or you can just suggest. Cool. This, this is the How Miles we talked about. This is the How. Shout out to NBL. Yes, NBL in the building. Be careful, sir. Check, check, check. All right, um, I have a question. So, um, earlier you said that we talked about who the book is for. Yes. I uh, talked about entrepreneurs, artists, and people who are taking, I uh, guess, if you will, a leap of faith. Yes. What do you want people? Um, I know you can't be around when people read the book and then they put the book down and finish it, but right. what would you like people to take away from your book once they're done reading? Mm. Wow, that's a good question. Um, I, want, I want people to take with them the reassurance that they're on the right path in their life, that they're supported, that it's okay to fall or make mistakes, it's okay to learn. You have the capacity and bandwidth to make mistakes, to learn, to readjust, to realign, to get recentered. That's what this is about. It's not about uh, hit or miss. It's about the journey being just as important as the destination. A lot of people get lost on the goal. They see a goal and they think, okay, this is the goal, and they just disregard the journey. But the journey is just as important. So, you know, the main thing is just you have a support system and, um, you know, stay focused on that support system. In the midst of it, why am I even doing this? Right. And that's that's the breakdown part where it's like I'm doing something and I don't even know why. So it's like those, those are the most important questions you can ask yourself. Who am I? What am I? Why am I doing this? So why do I want to do this? And that's your purpose, that's forward, onward, upward, that's navigation, that's your pathway, that's what I'm doing, you know, and that's gonna assist you on, on the journey. I think you have another question. Yes, sir. yes. Sir. First book, go, go find that. Daddy help you. Right. First book, I learned from you, Primordial. Oh, I learned from you, I'm like, please talk, talk me that. So what am I going to learn from this one? What's the word? I'm going to walk away from like, all right, Street, let me get that. Wow. Wait, that's, that's, that's my first book. I'll see my picture right here. No, so, she's right. If there was a, a, a theme for this book, Primordial was a theme because it's the essence of who you are, it's the essence of everything. This book, uh, mindfulness. The word mindfulness is is the theme, and you kind of just elaborate. Like, mindfulness is just being present of where you are, what's going on right now. Kind of just like, because our minds can run a thousand miles per hour. So sometimes you have to just go. What am I doing? What? You know, it's that mindfulness factor. So you'll see that theme throughout the book. That's a great question. <laughs> and then um, you talked a lot about support. So. Where do you see your career as an author being like this time next year? Are you working on another book? Like, are you like, how do we support? You know, you know what? Brother? That's a great question. Um, yeah, I mean, now that I'm on this second, the first book was a total experiment. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know how to write. I don't know how to publish. I don't know none of it. To be honest, my picture on the back of this is an accident. This wasn't supposed to be on here. I didn't know what I was doing. So, <laughs> so the second book, I know what I'm doing. Now. to get people's awareness. Because being an independent self-published author, I have to do the legwork. I don't have 50 people to, So I have to do everything from top to bottom until I get that team. So marketing, branding, promotion, making the people aware. And then once I feel like it's at a good level, that third book, I already got three, I already got my third or fourth book ready in my mind. 
So it's just it's a gradual process, um, and learning as I go, you know, will help assimilate the team that's coming together now. But that's for the next session. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So in. Uh, when you first started, you were doing some promos in here. Yes. You talking about going nationwide and worldwide and all like this stuff. Yes. Uh, where are you looking forward to going to? Uh, is there some spots in your mind that's like, yeah. I haven't been there with this book. Oh, yeah. I want to go there. Oh, yeah. Um, definitely Baltimore, Maryland. I'm, I'm really looking to go to historical bookstores, African-American, indigenous, independent bookstores. I want to highlight our bookstores for our community. I really want to push book reading for our people. It's so vital that we read books. I mean, actually open the book, crack it open, touch the pages, especially for our youth. Um, New York, Baltimore, Oakland, um, Atlanta. I want to hit some historical bookstores um, and African-American owned and independent bookstores across the East Coast starting. So yeah, it's gonna, 2024 is going to be fun. We got a lot of work to do. Somebody's going to be on the road. Yes, a lot of work to do. <laughs> And look, and follow your passion. Uh, we just had an aside where we're talking about follow your passion for when you were a kid. Yes. Uh, if I had followed my passion, I, I love video games. Oh, wow. Okay. Dope. And I should have followed that. Yeah, you'd be a billionaire. I'd be a billionaire. Real talk. Real talk. Real talk. Do, it, do what makes you happy, man. Do what I'm makes glad you happy. You're, you're talking about that, not in just in a sense of grind up. Right. I, I don't really care for that. Mm -hmm. That phase. Right. Grind right. to <laughs> die. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can do it myself, you know. Nah. I, I didn't want that. Nah. Right? But this is, I'm trying to move onward, trying to move upward. Yes. Trying to do some positive things yes. in my life and other people's lives. How can I do that in this book? How can yes. I that, that blueprint for it? Thank you, uh, Do we have any more questions before, I, before we close up? All right, so listen, uh, as always, uh, India kind of pointed to this a little bit. Um, we want to make sure people know mm -hmm. where to find you. Yes, sir. Where you're going to be next, what projects you're working on, so the floor is yours. Yes, yes. Um, you can follow me on all social media platforms. It's at survey, S-I-R space B-E-Y, or some, some of them is underscore B-E-Y. Um, right now, like I said, I'm on tour. I'm promoting these books. I'm promoting my publications. I'm promoting reading. I'm highlighting independent bookstores. Um, that's my goal. Uh, I'm also working on my next book. I'm not going to give you the title for that. That's coming as well. Um, but in the meantime, we've got a lot of great things. We're going to be highlighting um, local talent, regional talent. We want to bring in talent for all the areas we shop in. We're going to have people perform, spoken word. We think about getting a band in some of these spots to come play music. You know, um, it's really just about highlighting the community. It's really not just about me. I'm just a conduit to start the conversation. When I wrote this book, it wasn't about my purpose. It was about the conversation of purpose. You know, like, what is your purpose? Like, have you thought about your purpose? What, what, what is your purpose in life? Now the conversation is how to move forward, onward, and upward. How do we make gradual improvements, gradual evolution, things like that. So I've always been, my goal is to start the conversation in the community because I know how vital it is. Once you start talking about it, that's going to actualize things into reality. And a lot of times, the people that you need, they're in your community. You just need events like this so you can meet them. So it's important that the people come out, support. You come meet people in your community that you probably never kicked away. So yeah. before we let you go, yes, sir. I, I, well, before we start, I promise you I wouldn't put you on the spot. Uh -oh. But I got, I got to put you on the spot. Uh -oh. Everybody that sits in that seat <laughs> that has a microphone in their hand has to answer this one question. Okay. What's the best book you've ever read? Oh my gosh. The seat is hot. <laughs> I don't have. This is going to change. This almost, I, this almost feels like the Michael Jordan go. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't. That's going to change. But I'll tell you, the most impactful book for me right now that I've read is The Way of the Superior Man by David Idea. And I say that because I've been in a relationship with my wife for over 20 years. And reading this book opened my mind up to new ways of thought, to new ways of approaching my relationship. And I learned about the book from Nipsey Hussle and Lauren London, because they were talking about it on The Breakfast Club. Right. Lauren London was talking about it. I said, well, I'm going to read that book, because Nipsey's reading it, talking about it, Lauren's talking about it, so I read it, and it, it just opened my mind up in relation to relationships, to women, my wife, and being a man. So I wouldn't say it's the best book I've read of all time, 
time because that can change on the next book I read, but that's been the most impactful real-time book that I've applied to my real life. Well, listen, uh, I'm accept that answer. Yeah. <laughs> that's very much like the Kobe, LeBron, <laughs> Joy. Discussion, yeah, right? Joy is a great basketball player. Right. Of right. um, that era. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, we're not going to do that today. But listen, it's been uh, fantastic for you to be here. Appreciate yes, sir. It. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me with this book sellers. We, we love to have an energy like this in our space. Yes. So uh, thank you for coming down to Petersburg. Yes. This book sellers. People need to come here and see what's going on in the city and know all the people that's here. So if you have not done so, get your copy of Forward, Onward, Upward. Uh, you can also get your copy of your gift, your passion, your purpose. Uh, go and get both of them, read yeah. them, mark them up, do all the things that's necessary to move uh, forward in your life. But yes, we, sir. Really appreciate you being here. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you to the Business Book family. Shout out to the Metropolitan Business League. Shout out to the Purpose Pushers, man. Thank you all for supporting. And uh, much more to come. You guys have a beautiful night. Chill. <laughs> that was awesome. So, so you're not gonna say?